لا إله إلا الله الواحد القهار رب السماوات والأرض وما بينهما العزيز الغفار وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله continuing on our study of رياض الصالحين the book of praise and gratitude by Imam Nawawi رحمه الله تعالى and may Allah سبحانه وتعالى Bless him with Jannah to Firdaus, I mean. We left off and we were going to enter into the discussion about the farq between a shakir and shakur. The difference between shakir and shakur. And this is very relevant to what, uh, to this chapter, the obligation of gratitude in the book of praise and gratitude to Allah. Because Allah... Subhanahu wa ta'ala is a shakur. So it's imperative that we understand what these terms mean. So the difference between a shakir wa shakur. Qala al manawi in al shakira man yashkuruhu al arkha. والشكور من يشكره على البلاء. So he said that a shakir, that this refers to the one who is grateful in times of ease. A shakir. والشكور is a description of the one who is grateful during times of difficulty and fitna. And trials, showing that a shakur has a greater meaning than shakir. And it it is also said, a shakir men yashkuru al al ita, wa shakur men yashkuru al al mana. So it's also said from the scholars that a shakir. Is the one who is grateful or thankful when they are given, and a shakur is the one who is grateful when they're even when they're prohibited from something, maybe of having something they desire. Wa ida wusif al bari bi shakur fil marad in amahu ala ibadihi. If the creator of the heavens and earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is described with us, so when, when it comes to using this term, ash-shakur, then this is a divine characteristic of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of his sifat. And this refers, when it is a description of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when it is used as a description of his divine uh, attribute, and as one of his divine names, ash-shakur, then what is meant by this, is his favor and blessings upon his slaves, meaning you and I, those who worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And shukr or gratefulness and gratitude is from iman. It's a part of iman. It's a part of faith. And all throughout the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned uh, a shukr, As or the shakirin, those people being those people who are who are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as being people who are rewarded by Allah and who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward immensely and who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves, illustrating that this is from Iman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al kirim wasayudzi Allah a shakirin. And Allah soon will give a reward to those who are grateful, the shakirin. So, Allah, be thankful to Allah Azza wa Jal for the blessings He has given you. But how can we be thankful? So then it gets to, as the ulama say, the kawaid alati yukum alayha ash-shukr. What are the principles 
or the foundations in which gratefulness is established upon? What are those kawaid? What are those principles? Or what are those, what is the foundation in which gratefulness is established? Qala al-Fayrozabadi rahimahullah ta'ala al-shukr a'la manazil al-salikin wa fawqa manzil til rida fa innahu yatadamil al-rida wa ziyada wa rida mundarajun fi shukr id yastahil al-wujud al-shukri bidunihi وهو نصف الإيمان ومبناه على خمسة قواعد. so this is very beneficial. al Fairu al Fairu Zabadi رحمه الله تعالى he said that thankfulness is the highest level for those of the salikin those who are striving and going on the path to Jannah. That's the highest level for them to reach. And he said, and it is a, a shukr, this gratefulness or ingratitude or, or gratitude is above the level of being pleased. Because there's a difference between being grateful especially it's discerned in the Arabic language and as a Sharia term, and being pleased with something. You know, being pleased with Allah or being grateful to Allah are, the, the, the ulama, they distinguish between the two. And they say, as, imam, as the imam said, that uh, a shukr or gratefulness is a higher level or on a higher level than being pleased, rida. And he said, for verily, rida is included in shukr or in gratefulness and more than that. So shukr includes uh, gratefulness and even more, it illustrates even more than just being pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he said, and it is impossible to have gratefulness without rida, without being pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can't show gratefulness to Allah and not be pleased with his qadr or not be pleased with him. And he said that this is half of iman, meaning shukr is half of iman, of faith. And it's built on five principles. The first principle Khudu al-shakir lil mashkur. That the one who is grateful, truly grateful, that they are, they show humility to the one they're grateful to. This is the first principle. So write these principles down or acknowledge and understand these principles. The first principle, what did we say that, that shakir? Or, or shukr is built upon, these are the principles of gratefulness, is the first one is that the one who is grateful uh, is humble and has humility before the one they are, that they are grateful to. Meaning that we're grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we're humble before him. The second principle, وَحُبُّهُ lahu. The second principle is that having love for him. So having love for Allah Azza wa Jal, for this great favor, these blessings He's bestowed upon you. Wallahi alhamd. Wa'tirafuhu bi ni'matihi. And the third principle is acknowledging those blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to thank Allah for the many blessings. We have healthy children. Walhamdulillah. We have rizq, we have jobs, we have or businesses, walhamdulillah, all praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have our health, walhamdulillah. We are getting up in age and we still have our health, walhamdulillah. Some of us are blessed with our parents and even grandparents, walhamdulillah, and that they are healthy and that we can visit them and that we can still do good with them and still have 
uh, beautiful times in sitting within their company and benefiting from them. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. And the fourth principle of shukr, of thankfulness, وَثَنَاءُهُ alayhi biha. Alhamdulillah. So this fourth principle is going beyond that third principle, which was uh, acknowledging his favors. But the fourth principle is praising him for those favors. Praising Allah Azza wa Jalla. Alhamdulillah, saying Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar, Subhanallah. La ilaha illa and Subhanaka inni kuntum min al-dhalimeen. Subhanaka, Subhanallah. Wa bihamdihi subhanallah al-azim. Praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the various ways is various ways to praise him subhanahu wa ta'ala and the fifth principle that the imam mentioned wa ala yasta'miluha istamalaha fima yakrahu this is a difficult one for us sometimes and that is this fifth principle is that not to use those favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he's bestowed upon you for those things he dislikes and hates. So meaning, if Allah has favored you with wealth, do you use your wealth for haram? Do you invest it in haram enterprises? Do you solicit the haram? Spend your money on haram things? Allah's given you halal rizq, but yet you spend it on... Uh, Drugs, you spend it on prostitutes, you spend it on the various types of muharramat in which we are faced with as communities. So, the point being a, a habitifillah, and this is uh, should hit home for us because many of us know people who are blessed and favored with wealth and favored with things that maybe come from halal resources, maybe not, but yet they do it, they use it in the haram, and they're very active. They travel to places and spend it on haram. They indulge in haram, and they brag about haram instead of thanking Allah for that ni'mah. This is what's even worse, is not only they don't, they're not secretive of the muharramat they do, but rather they brag about doing haram. Oh, I just traveled here and I did this and I did this with so-and-so and I did this and I drank this and I ate this and I smoked this. They spend it on haram. They didn't. They never once said, Alhamdulillah, Allah gave me this salary. Alhamdulillah, I'm being paid to uh, go to school and I have the money, this extra money. Alhamdulillah. La. Instead, they use it and then they brag about doing the muharram, the muharramat. We went to the club. We went to the strip club. We did this. We travel here. We do this. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ And so we'll end this lesson here and in the next lesson we'll talk about the some of the anwa ashukr, the ways in which we can be thankful before we get into the ahadith in the chapter of Riyadh al-Saliheen. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدُ وَعَلَى عَلَيْهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَ